Right now, we have an FY17 budget or an FY18 budget resolution, which is a tool for repeal. The traditional budget will occur this spring. The traditional budget will occur this spring. We will get a budget sent to us from the new administration, and then the budget committee will dispose of it then. So we're getting ahead of ourselves as to what that budget's going to look like. They haven't even been sworn in yet. Yeah. Uh, Speaker Ryan, what tax issues did you discuss with the Trump uh, transition? All of them. What specifically? All of them. <laughs> Andy. Uh, just to follow up on, on the budget, um, in just the last few days, you know, there's talk about doing the wall as part of the supplemental package. There's this big military supplemental coming. Uh, Ryan's previous just said over the weekend he doesn't want to meddle in Medicare and Social Security, even President elect Trump, and you're going to repeal all these Obamacare revenues that you've used to balance the budget in the past. So, uh, so why question? shouldn't, my question is, why should, why should we form the conclusion that the budget is sort of taking a back seat as the new Republican government goes? Well, I don't think that at all. I think that, I think one of the things that we're focusing on is getting people back to work is economic growth. You can't ever balance the budget if you don't get this economy growing. That's what regulatory relief and tax reform are, are all about. By the way, Obamacare is a huge budget buster. It, it, it wrecks health inflation. Uh, it's, it makes promises that will not be kept. And so we're going to fix these problems. All of these solutions that we're bringing through this year help the bottom line, help the fiscal health and the economic health of Americans. What that specific budget looks like, we don't even have a Trump administration yet or a budget director yet who will then send us a budget that we will then work on. So it's just we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves as to what that spring budget is going to look like. Dear Last question. I just want to follow up on Erica's question. When you say you want to bring uh, it all together concurrently, repeal and replace, what is the purpose of the Obamacare replacement would be in the reconciliation? Yeah, that's a question we don't know the answer to. That's a question that really is more of a Senate question as to what you can put in reconciliation, what you cannot put in reconciliation. Those of you who are budget people know you know, how the reconciliation test works. It's a Senate test. It's not a House test. So we will pass as much as we can through whatever vehicle we've got, and then we'll pass all the other things through regular order uh, outside of reconciliation that show you the full scope of what a real replacement effort looks like. But just know, repealing Obamacare in the beginning and giving people relief and allowing companies to compete and giving more choices to begin with will help heal this problem we have. So immediately we can provide relief this year to families struggling under Obamacare. That's good. Then we want to build on that success by even getting more reforms through regular order um, if it has to occur outside of reconciliation. The point being we have ideas and solutions. Obamacare is failing and failing quickly. I mean, it's really bad. Families can't even go to the doctor because their deductibles are so high, so they just skip having health care. Their premiums are so high, more and more people aren't even buying health insurance, and so only people who are desperate to get it are buying it, and that is what we call a death spiral. We're getting warnings from insurance companies that they're pulling out, and people will have zero choices this year on top of even more premium increases. This law is failing quickly. We've got to step in and provide relief and a rescue for the American people, and that's exactly why we're doing what we're doing. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.